Getting our and as promised, it is time to talk commodities. We have Manisha Gupta to tell us everything that's buzzing in that space. Manisha, hi. What do you have your eye on today? Well, I'm looking at the crude oil prices and good news clearly for an importer like India where we import nearly 85 to 90 percent of our requirements. So we are looking at a third straight day of decline coming in for the crude oil prices. We did see $93 a barrel of a high as we started this week. But since then, there has been constant decline. Prices did gain 10 percent in last two weeks. But when you look at the prices in this week, on a week on week basis, we are down by nearly two and a half percent right now. Much of those declines have come in in the overnight markets. We are trading at a one week lows for the crude oil prices. This is after the Israel-Hamas conflict seems to be under control, it is not spreading, it has not impacted any production of crude oil or export, uh, so that really seems to have taken some premium off the prices. Apart from that, U.S. suspended in the Venezuela uh, sanctions as well would tell you that there could be more oil coming into the international markets from Venezuela. And then you have the weak PMI numbers that came in from Germany, U.K. and the Eurozone. So that tells you that the weak demand from European uh, Union or European uh, zone, for that matter, continues to be on the weaker side. There also is a report from IEA which says that the fuel demand uh, will peak uh, in 2030. The fossil fuel demand, that is, would start peaking in from 2030. So that's yet, yet another thing that the markets seem to be looking at right now. Most banks and brokerages inform that 85 to 95 of a range is where the crude prices could be trading for the rest of this quarter. Okay, thank you very much uh, for that. I just want to